I have sore nipples, of course, because of breastfeeding, because at the start it was very hard and it was more like a torture for her and for me too. And yeah, it hurt so much and I have like a cream, it's called lanolin, which is very good for that. But it still hurts and it's very sensible when it's in contact with clothes or something else. Um, my mood, I have so much energy. And uh, I don't feel pregnant anymore, which is so good. Honestly, being pregnant is nice because you are pregnant, you are carrying a life in your bum, blah blah blah. But it's like a very long sickness, really. And I was glad, I, I'm, I'm glad I don't have my belly anymore, which, uh, which makes you so tired. You just sleep all the time and then at the, at the end, before I get to the hospital, I, I couldn't do anything, any cleaning or really walking around in the house and it made me feel mad and so crazy because I wanted to do things to because you know we were moving and I had lots of things to do and I couldn't do it as I wanted and now everything I want to do in a day I can do it even with a newborn so that's amazing really um, <clears throat> I should rest, I know. They told me in the hospital that after giving birth like for 40 days you should take rest and be sitting and laying down and not walking around too much. But I'm just so happy and active and I want to do things. Um, I don't do cleaning because I prefer to do other stuff. So what I do is unboxing, organizing, lots of organizing. I do everything baby related of course, so changing the nappies and breastfeeding and what else, giving the bath, the hygiene routine, those things. And I do lots of YouTube, so I'm making these videos, filming, editing, I'm taking photos of our newborn baby and it makes me so happy. Plus, I don't have my studies anymore, so I really feel, feel like I'm on vacation, you know, like an active vacation. Um, I'm, I'm very happy, very, very happy, incredibly happy, even when I'm tired or I, I think I, I can't... I, I always think I can do whatever I need to, because, I don't know, I just love that little thing so much, and it didn't came right after giving birth, it came like the fifth day at home when I was more relaxed and I knew how to do things and then I started to love him, love her so sorry Calliope, I always speaking of her like like she was a boy, sorry mm. so from that moment I started to love her so much and I feel so strong and that's so strange. I feel like I, I can do everything. I can go back to work if I have to and I know I have to. I can take care of my baby. I can do it all alone if I need to, which I don't need because I have Mikkel. But in the night I'm doing everything alone and that's alright. That's me. I choose it like this because that way, in, during the day, Mick is doing everything, really everything, like administration, baby stuff, changing the nappies. I just have to breastfeed and that means I have lots of time to do things I want or take a rest if I need. And that's just perfect, really. Um, you know, I was induced because of my liver situation, so my liver condition was very bad. Uh, I speak about that in my labor and delivery story. And that was just at the end of my pregnancy and that's why I needed to be induced and give birth earlier, two weeks earlier, earlier. So that she she stays alive. Yeah. Uh, I will have a blood test because in the hospital I, I think I misunderstood something because they said this is pregnancy related so I, and that will go away right after I gave birth and that wasn't the case so they did two more blood tests in the hospital during my three days and they told me it's a little bit better but still bad my liver condition 
So I had to take pills, but when I got home they told me I can stop, so they didn't give me any pills, they didn't tell me that I have to buy it, so yeah, now I just feel like with my liver, I don't know what's going on, and in two days uh, I have to go to a clinic, that's what they told me, and um, make another blood test, and then show it to my doctor, I don't have a doctor yet, but I have to find a doctor for me, a doctor for the baby, I have to find a gynecologue, I don't know how to say it, you know, the, the doctor who is taking care of your lady parts, so I don't have nothing in France and now I need everything very quickly. Um, so yeah, and depending on the result, I could get other pills or or just do nothing if everything's alright. Um, my nutrition, I'm very thirsty and that's surely breastfeeding which makes me so thirsty because when I'm breastfeeding and she's on my breast, I feel like I will die, I have to drink some water and of course I can't move so I, I always have to ask Mikael to go and get me some water. Between two um, breastfeeding I really forget about drinking water and that's why I'm so thirsty while uh, she's my boobs. I'm very hungry also but I have no time to eat or I'm not very motivated because <laughs> it's not important anymore. I was so stressed out in the hospital during the first days of Calliope that she's not well fed and she's not eating enough that <laughs> really all my concerns were about her nutrition and I, th I think even though now it's okay and I'm sure she's well fed and she's on my breast milk Finally, when I thought it won't work ever, ever, and now it's working. Even now, I'm not concerned about my nutrition at all. Just, just that I still eat healthy and good, cause when you're breastfeeding, everything goes down through your system, so that's important. But I'm not so picky and choosy as I used to be before. Um, yeah, and now I will show you my, <laughs> I wanted to say my belly, uh, my pregnant belly, but uh, I don't have any more pregnant belly now. Well, it looks like, but there is nothing inside and stuffed. So yeah, I will show you my belly, I'm very proud of it, and I think looks quite good, considering I gave birth just a week before. That's how I look like in a dress, one week after giving birth. I'm really okay with this and so I think my ass is smaller and my legs are smaller too. Of course I I lost muscles but not that if I not that I had muscles during pregnancy. I think I already lost them before. And in the hospital I didn't move at all. I had to stay in the bed. Now I move. So maybe I will gain some muscles and in six weeks when I start working out that will be even better. So I had this little puffy thing, I don't know, but that's not so big than after giving birth. The first day it was like death and it shrank like day by day and now I think it's quite small. And stretch marks. I almost forgot, I also have stretch, mark on my, stretch marks on my boobs, but they are looking so much better, more like these small ones, and not like this big. So yeah, that's like a tattoo for me. That's how I... <laughs> that's how I... Uh, well, what I wanted to say is that's how I accepted it. I just think about it as a tattoo, as a flower or something like that. That was my one week update, postpartum update, the first one, and I will do this weekly, the first month, and maybe monthly after that. I don't know, we will see how it, how my body changes, and maybe I will call them later a workout update or something like that, when I have the right to do workouts. So thank you very much, have a nice day, and bye bye!